Continuing on, uh, we want to do step two. And step two involves counting the number of records that are in that file. Now we verified that the file name is, is, is OK, and we can use that. And we're going to pass that into the routine that we're going to write. We're going to replace this with a routine. And um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to write that routine. So let's think about design a little bit. Well, I, I need to get the, the number of records, all right, which means that I've got to declare something to hold them. Okay, int, uh, and we'll just call it the uh, number of records. I'm going to go ahead and initialize it to zero. I, not going to matter that much. It's just a good habit to initialize everything. It's just a good idea. All right, so. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a routine that is going to return that to me. Number of records. And I, I'm going to say get number uh, or just say, uh, just say uh, record count. And again, I need to pass in the file name. I need to tell it what file to get it to. Okay. So let me go ahead and create that prototype. I'm going to put it right here, right underneath the other one. Okay, uh, I'm going to return an integer, and that I know that because the number of records is on the left side of the equal side down here. So I'm going to return an integer. The routine is called record uh, record count, and I'm going to pass in a character pointer array. Now you'll notice that whenever I typed in that prototype the red underneath this went away. It says okay I recognize that that's been declared now and this is okay. So I've got the declaration I've made the proper call and now I've got to write that routine. So let's go down here and write it. We're going to put it right underneath our other routine and we're going to say int record count uh, character uh, file name. Let's go ahead and um, and make a modification here while we're at it. Let's say constant. And the reason I'm going to do this is because uh, if I'm not going to change that file name or if I'm not going to uh, uh, pass it to anything that's going to change it, uh, there's no reason not to put constant. It's just a safety valve is all that it really is. So we're going to do that. Okay. I know that I'm going to need some type of temporary counter. Again, I'm going to initialize it to zero. Let me move this down a little bit so you can see the code I write. Okay. Uh, I need uh, some place to put the data when I read it in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the file. I'm going to go through. I'm going to read in each record. I'm going to count it. I'm not going to do anything with the record at this point. I'm just going to count them. But I've still got to have some place to put the data when I read it in. So I'm going to have some type of uh, input line. Character array. Max size is 80. We know that. It's a good habit. And I, I'm going to go ahead and use the design technique I used before. I'm going to uh, uh, I'll open the file, okay. okay. Open the file, okay. Get 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 first record, okay. While while uh, not end of file. Continue to read. Well, not end of file. I'll just leave it like that indent a little bit to show something. Let's say add one to record count. Okay, add one to record count. Okay. Read the next record. Okay. In the while close the file. That's very important, and I, and I made a mistake, and I'm going to go back and correct it right now. Return the uh, return the record count. Okay, so 
The mistake I made is up here, and you'll see right here, uh, when I open that file, I made a mistake right here, and I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to say my file close. Okay. Now why that was a mistake was because that file is still open, and it is open with this program. If I were to go back and try to read that file again, the record pointer would be at the last record, or it may not be right at the beginning of it. So you always open a file, you close it. When you open it back up, it resets it at the beginning of the file. It's just a good habit. may not have caused me a problem, but it's just a good thing to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace each one of these with a uh, line of code that corresponds to what I want to do. Okay, so my file dot open okay I pass it in the file name okay I'm going to read the first record now I'm going to read the first record with a get line my file dot get line and I'm going to use the input line and I'm going to tell it how big it is which is max size it's 80 characters okay. you always tell it how big the file is now what get line does is it ignores spaces tabs delimiters it gets the whole line out to the end of the uh, record itself so that's what we want to do now we want to do while not in the file and this is a little tricky okay while not symbol okay my file yeah my file dot uh, eof okay while it is not in the file okay we're going to say count plus plus okay then we're going to read the next record okay and it is exactly the line right here my file get line and you can actually highlight it and copy it and paste it right there get line now for debugging purpose okay uh, you can go ahead and print out the input line while you're reading it in okay and make a note uh, this line later Okay, we want to end the while loop, which is, well, just a left bra uh, right bracket. And now we want to uh, close the file. <coughs> okay. And return, return count. Now let's look at the logic of this and check it. Notice up here, I'm passing in the file name. Uh, I've uh, declared a count, an integer count, to keep track of how many records I've read in. I've created a character array so that I can put the data someplace while I'm counting it. I open the file. I don't have to check to make sure it's okay. We've already done that. I get the first line. Now, in case that it's an empty file and there is no data in it, what's going to happen is this get line, this open will fail, the get line will fail, and what's going to happen is uh, while, let me spell that correctly, while um, uh, while this file is not open, uh, it will go around, it will try to close it, and it will return zero. Let me do something else I've forgotten up here, and I've got to declare um, uh, I I've got to declare if uh, stream my file. Okay. okay. <clears throat> um, and let me spell file name correctly. All right. So let's go through this logic again. Let me. This is just, just a tad bigger so you can see the whole thing. There we go. Declared the file. Count. Input line. I'm going to open the file. I'm going to get the first line. In case I've got an empty file, it will bypass this whole thing, try to close it and return zero, which is exactly what I want it to do. While we're not at end of file, it's going to add one. Now you notice it's already got the first uh, data line when it comes into this. 
So it's going to add one to it. It's going to uh, print it out. Let me uh, move this one up. Let me uh, move it up here. Okay, and I want to put it right here. This is a proper way to do it. This is just a little bit more correct. It's going to add one and print out the line it just read in. And then the last thing it does, the last thing it does before it, it exits the loop is it tries to get the next line. If this fails, what's going to happen is it's going to go back up to the top here, to the while statement, and it will say, well, that's the end of the file. It will bypass all of this code, close the file, and return the count. All right. Now, we're going to call this and for debugging purposes what we're going to do is we're going to say see out uh, number of records is okay number of records okay our program should do this it should ask us for an input file we should input it it should open it uh, verify that it's okay. You should count the number of records, print them out as it's counting them, and then print out the number of records. Now we're going to remove a lot of this later on, but while we're writing this code we want to make sure everything's working. So we're going to go up and we're going to build the solution. Hopefully we don't have any errors. We might. If we do, we'll fix them. Things are looking pretty good. We're sitting here waiting for stuff to happen. There we go. All right, now we're going to go up and we're going to start the program. Let's make this window just a bit bigger. Move it over. My file.txt. And there's everything right there. We should have gotten the. We didn't have the system pause there. Let's put the system pause in there. Let's build it again. There, it's successful. Start debugging. There's all the records. Number of records is 213. That is the correct number of records. And it looks like it read everything correctly. Very good. Alright, so that part of our program works, so we have step two.